back to Chris Review stuff. This is going to be a video again for another baby product. This is the Kimyo Full Body Mosquito Net. Um, this we picked up on Amazon for like six or seven dollars, and it is pretty much gonna, it looks like it's from China. It's um, cheaply made, but it is, I should say, more affordably made. Uh, it's pretty, it's a decently quality product. It's really small and kind of tiny and. For six bucks, it seems like it's kind of expensive for what it is, but um, I don't think I could make this. So um, we, we've used it a couple times. It's really nice. It's small, and um, let's go ahead and get a little closer to it. I'm going to actually take it off the car seat, and we can look at it closer up. We can look at it while it's on the stroller. And we can look at it just on the stroller on the on the car seat, and it, it does have a pretty snug tight. It is a little loose at certain points, so depending on your car seat, you might have to pull it down and around. But we'll take a closer look. All right, so this is the bag that it comes in. It comes in a small Ziploc bag, Kimio on it, and this is the this is the back of the bag that has um, the description of what it is, I guess, just to make sure that you're actually getting the same product as, as the one that's in this video. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at it. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at what the actual product is. You can see it's just um, very fine mesh. It's got an elastic cord that runs the entire length of it, and that's pretty much what this is. You could probably make this if you wanted to, but um, we didn't. Uh, the stitching on it's pretty good. We went, I went through around the whole thing, made sure there were no holes in it, and that it was all stitched to the elastic, that there wasn't a, a gap between the elastic and the netting. Uh, you can do it, if there's no inside or outside of it, it's just on, I guess you could say. So to put it on, so to put it on, you just put it over and pull it over. This, we have the Chico Bravo uh, stroller and baby car seat. Um, that's pretty much it. If you're going to put it on just the car seat, this is how you could do it. Uh, you could pull it way down further, but you can see it really does get pretty snug uh, and you can even move it more. But, uh, and there is a gap here. Like, bugs can get in if they are um, really determined. They could fly up and under this and then get up there. However, it does keep the top of it completely covered. Uh, and with no holes in this, it does feel pretty durable. And, um, I mean, like, I'm kind of pulling on it a little bit. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's going to break. I felt if I hook, you know, pulled it apart, it's, it's going to rip. But anything sheer like this is going to do that. But it, um, it fits pretty well, and it's bigger than this, so if you have a different car seat, it's going to definitely fit. If it was smaller, I, I think you'd run into a problem if your car seat was smaller than this, because it, it, it seems large for our car seat. So if it was any smaller than this, you'd have to, um, you know, maybe ball it up and put a rubber band on it or hold it in there more securely to keep it tighter. Because, like, as I said, you could walk around with this, and bugs could get in and under if they were really determined, however... I would say 99% of the bugs are, are not going to even get inside at all. And with this being really tiny and sheer, I don't even think a gnat would be able to get in. A gnat, seem, I think, would be a little bit bigger than this hole here. Mosquitoes are definitely not getting in. Bees, flies, everything else is not, not getting in at all. Now, you can see I'm putting the, trying to put the car seat onto the stroller. Um, being that our car seat locks in here, I think if you kept this net on here while trying to mount into the stroller, you might damage the netting. I don't recommend, um, I don't recommend really doing that. We haven't. We've either put it on after, we put the net on after we put the car seat on. I've never had uh, the net on the car seat and then transferred into the stroller. I wouldn't do it, like I said, because I think it would rip it. What we do is we just kind of pull the net off put the car seat in, and then this just kind of goes around the stroller. So here's it really close up to the stroller. You can see again, there is somewhat of a gap between the stroller, the car seat, and this netting. However, it's going to keep, again, 90% of the bugs out of the stroller, the car seat, and out off of your child. This is for six bucks, seven bucks, a really good product. Um, 
you know, you could see here, bugs could definitely come up and under. This is the front. I mean, the bugs are not going to be flying around like crazy, attacking, swarming your baby. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. However, it's a possibility, you know, and you should be aware of it. But for six, seven dollars, I think this is really good and I'm happy with it. Um, we've used it a few times. It's pretty durable as what we've seen so far and no problems for, for the price for sure. Even for probably $15, $20, I think this would be a decent product. I would expect it to fit a little better for $20. However, being six or seven, it's pretty universal to everything and a great deal. So if you need to know what it is, check out the description. I'll have a link directly to this product and also to the car seat so that you can see how big our car seat is and stroller in comparison to yours to see how it would fit yours. But thanks again for watching this video. This is the Kimbo Mosquito body, full body net or whatever it is.